All right, welcome back everyone. Um, today is just gonna be like a quick short video. I'm gonna explain a few things and yeah, that, that'll be it basically. But what I wanted to explain is the, for so I bought this Model O, um, let's say two, two, three weeks ago. And like uh, last week basically it started squeaking like the scroll wheel. It wasn't like this, these, the left or right click, but the um, scroll wheel and it just got so annoying. Like I could, it was so loud. And you could hear it in like my, my microphone when I was like on Discord or when I was like on the phone with someone and I was like playing and stuff. And it just got so annoying. And like, I was like, dang, this is like, it just pissed me off. Cause it would like squeak so loud and it, like, it would just annoy. What I wanted to like show you is um, fix it basically, how to fix that. I, didn't, I know it's like common. And the way I fixed this was there's like, um, right here, you, t you turn it over basically, go ahead and turn it off, and then you see these, um, like these little, uh, like little pads, you can take these off with like, uh, just like your fingernail, if, if, you, have, if you have like long enough fingernails, or if, you can use like a little uh, flathead screwdriver, or just like a credit card or something, so you'll take it out, hold on. just take it out and you'll only take out these these two in the bottom and then you see there's these little screws right here little focus there's these two screws right here and they're like um it's a cross screw and you just take them out and okay i can basically i don't know if i want to do it but i'll do it for the video okay so you take these out and let me get my screwdriver. I bought this little kit that's uh, really helpful. Except the only thing I don't like is getting this uh, thing out. But let's go ahead and do it. I mean, a screw. And you just take it out. Ding. And then what you want to do next is there's like this thing you just put your finger in between it and or your fingernail in between like right here and it'll come off easily you just pull it back a little bit and then up top you can pull that out as well or just like you have to like push it down basically like the scroll wheel You know, like a little crack and don't make sure not to pull it too hard because then you'll break it and um because once you like take it out there's these like little wires that you have to um, unplug the rgb wires and they're right in the back they're those two and the way you take them out is you just pull that little black tab up and then they'll come out easily and it's the same thing process and the way i fixed this was i lubed the wheel and that was it basically, I just lubed the wheel and then everything just started working a lot better and it just didn't annoy me as much, you know? But this is gonna be a little quick like tutorial and the way you put it back, or make sure to, when you put it back that you plug in those um, RGB connectors and you just put them, you like slide them into the little slot and then you push down the like little black bar and that should help it. And then to put it back in, you basically just push down in the front and the back Make sure the cables are good. And once, once of course, once it's lubed, then um, it'll work a lot better and it, you won't hear the squeaking, which is amazing. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you. Oh, um, remember to put the screws back as well. And then once you do this, um, the thing about it is your feet pads will, will be, they will be messed up most likely. So you can go into, the, if you bought these smells from a Glorious, you can contact them like from their website, which I did. Uh, you contact them and you tell them that my uh, scroll wheel was squeaking and um, that you fixed it yourself and all of them, and then they'll offer you 20% refund back or 30% uh, store credit. And I took the store credit and they, um, and I asked them if I could get some uh, replacement pads because mine were a little messed up. And they said, yeah, and they're sending me some uh, feet pads uh, in the next few days, which is amazing. I mean, like that customer service is, it's off the charts, man. It's so good. 
but yeah and then once they get here just, you just replace them and stuff and it's all free basically it's all free if you can fix it yourself it's all free just so you don't have to like return it and stuff because it's a lot of hassle and it's not even too hard like um looping the scroll wheel it's pretty easy and uh yeah that's basically it just make sure you um contact them through like email and stuff and then just tell them that you fixed it yourself basically i just explained this and that you would like to get some uh replacement feeds and then if they offer you the store credit which they should then just go ahead and accept that or just like the refund whatever you'd like i i took the store of credit and i'm uh i'm gonna buy something but i'm gonna review those or like do like a little video on them later all right one more thing i wanted to add is it will not avoid your warranty if you open it um i contacted them as well and i told them i asked them if it would, would avoid my warranty and they said no because it's like a default or something like that a default in the mice um but it shouldn't avoid your warranty at all and you should be perfectly fine to do this if you're like scared of avoiding the warranty so just in case you break it you'll still be able to like get a refund and everything but yeah this is basically all i wanted to say and thank you very much for watching and have a good rest of the day and i hope this helps you